guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new this is small town six and i am tiffany and today i am bringing you a fun collab video today we are making a what's for dinner soup is the theme it's going to be um fall soups autumn soups and um my favorite type of soup is chili i love chili when it starts getting crisp and cool outside however where i live it is still like blazing hot today it is supposed to be fall weather here but i know by the end of the week it's supposed to hit a little cooler and finally like the highest temperature is going to be 70 because i'll be honest we still have like our swimming pool running because it is so hot outside so um i love fall i love when you don't have to run your air conditioner and when you don't have to run your heat that is my favorite type of temperature jeans and a t-shirt and no high energy bills <laughs> So today I'm going to be bringing you three different types of chili. One of these recipes is my husband's type of chili. He likes the regular chili. Um, no fuss, just plain chili. He would spice it up even more with jalapenos if I'd allow him to. But the kids can't eat it when it gets too hot. And I can't handle it. I'm a wimp. Um, my favorite chili is pumpkin chili. I'm going to be sharing that with you because that is my most favorite recipe. Um, however, I don't know if this one's going to turn out quite like the original I used to make which came from a recipe card from Kroger but I love pumpkin chili and then the other chili recipe that I made is white um, white coconut chicken chili um, I had this saved for a long time in my menu planner uh, book where I keep all my recipes and I finally made it um, my husband was a little leery of it, but it actually turned out really good. It was a different take on chili. So I'm sharing three of my favorites. Um, this is a big group collab hosted by Kat, my girl Kat, she's awesome, from Southern Farm, Southern Farm and Kitchen. If you don't know Kat, you will love Kat. I'm gonna link her channel down below. You go give her some love and check out her channel. She can cook like no other. She's got amazing recipes on her channel. We have actually collabed in the past and she's wonderful. Um, and also I'm going to link the playlist down below. There's going to be a whole bunch of awesome ladies with their recipes in this group. So go give them all some love when you get done watching mine and let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you're new, you're coming over from someone else's channel. Hey, I'm Tiffany. I'm a mama of four. I know I have to go over this every time, but I just want to introduce myself. Um, I'm a mom of four kids. I share cooking, cleaning, grocery hauls, you name it, mom life. So welcome, I would love to have you here. Um, and let's go ahead and get started guys. Okay guys, today I'm gonna share with you a new recipe. So I don't know how it's gonna taste. I've had it saved in my um, recipe binder forever. <laughs> and I just have never made it um, because it's hard to convince my family to eat chicken too often. My kids will eat it more so than my husband. But with coconut added into it, they're not a big fan. Um, so selling them on coconut is hard, but I just think this sounds so good and I'm going to try it today. It's called coconut chicken chili. So a little different take on chili. We'll see how it goes and maybe I'll taste it to see how it goes at the end of this. But I'm going to start this off the easiest way I know how with making my chicken. If you've never watched my video before, I make chicken in the instant pot um, when I need to add it to recipes. Uh, in this recipe it says a rotisserie chicken from the store but I usually just already have tons of chicken breasts on on hand because I'll buy it at Sam's and stock up or else I'll buy it in bulk packs and keep it and I can just cook it in my instant pot for like those huge ones for about 20 minutes sometimes 25 minutes it just I'm real funny about cooking my chicken it really says to cook it for like 15 minutes but I don't trust it so I like to cook it for at least 20 to 25 minutes. And I put about two and a half cups of chicken broth in to give it some extra, I guess, chicken flavor. <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna do first because it calls for chicken in this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-cook this. Um, you could also probably make this recipe in the crock pot. Like I said, you can probably just cook it on low all day and it'll turn out probably even better than what I'm gonna make tonight. Very basic ingredients. I'll go ahead and tell you those guys. I'll also link this recipe down below. So what we need, I've already got the chicken, like I said in here, getting ready to cook with two cups of chicken broth. Um, we need the chicken, it says, or one rotisserie chicken, two cans of white beans. I um, underestimated what I had. I thought I had cantaloupe, two of these. So garbanzo is white bean too. I don't, so I'm just gonna use that and hope for the best. 
Um, four teaspoons of minced garlic. I've got this giant tub from Sam's, so this will last for eternity, I think. Um, so four teaspoons of that. Seven ounce can of green chilies. I um, only have one. So, sorry guys, it's real life. It's how I cook. I should check my ingredients more often. Um, one onion chopped up. And then we need four additional cups of chicken broth, which you can get these big containers and there is supposed to be four cups in there. Um, then we also need two teaspoons of oregano, um, two teaspoons of cumin, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, and then one can of coconut cream. But I cannot find coconut cream. I don't know why, but where we live, I look for it at Sam's in bulk. I look for it in all the grocery stores. I cannot find it. They never have it in stock. So. According to Google, this is the top sub for that. So, coconut milk. I've, it's actually cold. I've kept it in the fridge. Um, I've got this. And then for topping, once this is all done, it says fresh cilantro, which I just happened to have because I already had it. Some bacon crumbles, which I have those. And then you can put tomato on it, but nobody's going to want that in our house. And then you can add lime juice. So anyway, all I'm going to do, so basic, is dice and cook up the onion and oil. And it says avocado oil, but I don't have that because it's like $8 for a bottle at the cheapest store I can find it. So we're just going to use good old-fashioned um, coconut oil. And then um, we're going to cook all of that together um, except for the coconut cream. We're going to cook it all together and then at the end add the coconut cream in and cook it for five additional minutes. And that's it, guys. You can top it with the cilantro, the tomato, the bacon, the avocado, and lime juice. So super simple dinner tonight. Okay guys, I'm gonna change this. I was gonna make all this, like cook my chicken separate and then cook it all on the stove together and do all that. And uh, I decided not to because I have to go somewhere. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. I won't have dinner done in time for um, an early, early dinner night when my kids have school. So I'm gonna combine it all and hope for the best. Um, if you've been watching me, I'm pretty simple. I'm pretty basic. I like to make stuff that tastes good, but I like to make easy stuff. So. We're gonna we're gonna do this together and see what the outcome is um i'm sure it's fine and also like i said if you want to use your crock pot if you don't have one of these instant pot things um put it in the crock pot cook things all day for, on low for six to eight it just makes it all go together better um, and if you don't have that you can cook your you can get a rotisserie chicken or cook the chicken like i said separately either boil it or cook it in the instant pot or or even throw it in the crock pot if you have one however you want to do it you can do it that way and then just cook it on the stove together. Same thing, no matter, you can cook it instant pot, crock pot, or just regular old fashioned stove, however you wanna do it. But I'm gonna put all of this fun stuff together in here, and then I think at the end is when I will add the coconut milk, so that's what the last step is anyway. Then we'll top it with all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. done cooking I've shredded the chicken already and then I'm gonna add the coconut milk into this and hopefully it tastes good. guys there is the soup I put some bacon bits on it and some cheese on top and um, might add some avocado in it's a little soupier than most chilies I did do the instructions so it was supposed to have four cups of the chicken broth so it's a little soupier but here we go 
Okay, here is mine. I put mine with avocados, some of my like um, healthier chips on top because I have to have every chili with that, and a little dash of cheese. So let's see what it looks like. Hey guys, tonight we are making a super simple chili recipe. This isn't the one I normally make. This is just a super easy one. Um, my husband likes simple chili. I like it with barbecue sauce and chickpeas and all kinds of other added stuff. And I love pumpkin chili, which I will be sharing with you before too long. But this is just a standard chili recipe. Nothing fancy and it's using real ground beef in it. So all we need, um, I've already taken the guesswork out of um, doing the meat. Okay guys, so what I'm going to use is super simple ingredients. Feel free to sub this out if you don't like it. Um, like I said, almost two pounds of ground beef. I'm just gonna put that in the crock pot. I got uh, three cans of chili beans. I prefer them because they've already got the seasoning in them and had them stockpiled. Um, two cans of the diced green, um, um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. Doesn't have to be Rotel brand. One can of diced tomatoes. Um, I think I need more tomato sauce. I may have to put some other liquid in this. I've got tomato paste and stuff, but it says, you know, most recipes say like 30 ounces of tomato sauce. This is just eight. So I'll add some extra stuff in there. Then I might use these green chilies. I like to throw green chilies in the recipes. Um, minced garlic, got that huge tub at Sam's. Going to use some salt to season and some pepper. That is all in your preference. There's no like certain amount. I'll probably use um, two teaspoons of cumin. I'll use a couple tablespoons of chili powder. I will use um, a teaspoon or two, one to two teaspoons of the garlic powder because I really like garlic in it. Um, standard recipes call for oregano. I may put that in there. I'm not a huge oregano fan. Sometimes it can be overdone. So we'll see. I like my chili sweeter. My husband likes it hotter. So. Um, and then a half a teaspoon of black pepper, so I'll eyeball that. But really, that is it, guys. This couldn't be simpler. Um, it's just a standard chili. I've got jalapenos that came out of my garden that I actually grew this year. I was super pumped about. Um, we couldn't use like all those jalapenos that quick, so I cut them up and I froze them. So I may layer that on top. The kids can't handle the heat, like, and uh, my husband loves it, so I'll probably get those out for him and do that. And I'll probably serve this, um, I'm not sure yet whether we'll have this with sandwiches or whether I'll make uh, rolls or something, or not rolls, but like um, cornbread. So we'll find out at the end. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do this. All I'm going to do is put this all in the crock pot. You can cook it in your crock pot after you spray it for low for um, six to eight hours or on high for uh, four to six. So I am running out of time because he's got to go to work, so I'm going to do it on high. I do prefer it to cook it on low, but we're, we're short on time. So let's go ahead and get going, guys. Sorry, I'll quit talking.
all that stuff together, just stirred it around, and I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. Let it all come together. Then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay guys, tonight I'm making a seasonal favorite. It might not be my kid's favorite thing ever, but it is mine. Um, I don't know if this is the exact recipe. I There was a recipe I used to use. It came off of like a little menu card back in the day. It came off like the Kroger, uh, like our store would be Kroger. I know it's some, I know they're partnered with other people in other states, but here it's Kroger. And uh, they had like a menu card that you used to get for meal options. So anyway, I got it off there years and years and years ago and I lost that card. So I am pulling out a different recipe that's similar. Hopefully it'll taste the same. I wrote it down, um, but I didn't notate whether this was the Kroger one. Anyway, I'm making pumpkin chili because I love pumpkin. Um, my husband doesn't get as excited about pumpkins, but this is kind of hidden. So anyway, what we need is one small yellow onion, but I might use red tonight because I love red onions. Um, in this recipe, it says jalapeno. I'm, I'm omitting that because my kids don't like super hot stuff. One green pepper chopped up. I'm going to use uh, just some peppers chopped up because in my original recipe that I always used to make, I used colored peppers. Um, three cloves of garlic minced. One pound of ground turkey. I'm going to use this from Aldi's. One can of pumpkin, pumpkin puree. I've got this from Aldi's also because there's been a nationwide shortage supposedly of pumpkin is what I'm hearing. So Aldi's had a bunch in stock. So I got that. One can of black beans. One can of kidney beans. Um, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Uh, one six ounce can of tomato paste. And then uh, two tablespoons of chili powder. Two, or two teaspoons of cumin, but I will use more than that. One teaspoon of paprika, two, teaspoon, bleh, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I had that from um, my simmer pots. And then two teaspoons of salt, plus one teaspoon of pepper, and a pinch of cayenne. And then also for this recipe, three cups of chicken broth. Um, I know a lot of times if you use beef in place, then you'll use beef broth. But in this recipe, since it's ground turkey, or you could even change it and use ground chicken if you wanted to, you use chicken broth. So all I'm gonna do, I might separately do this, cause like I said, I get the burn, method, burn message on my Instant Pot whenever I brown the meat in there and then do it. So I'll probably separately brown the onion with the meat. Um, and I'll add a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So we'll let that cook for just a little bit um, till there's no more pink. And so then uh, what I will do once the meat is done cooking, I will add it into my Instant Pot and then I will add all the spices into it and then I will add in the pumpkin, the beans, the diced tomatoes, the tomato paste, and then I'll add in the three cups of chicken broth. And in the recipe, it's just a manual cook for 12 minutes and then a natural release for 15 minutes. And if you wanted to um, do this recipe in your crock pot, you could easily do that in your crock pot. All you would do is cook it on uh, low for six to eight hours or on high for four to six um, Or you can cook it on your stove, you know Same thing. I'm just doing instant pot because it's an easy night and I'm not a sh appearing with my face in the camera because I'm a hot mess today So let's go ahead and get started. I will come back to you after I have browned the meat and after I have chopped up the onion And I might even add some cilantro on it. I absolutely love cilantro. So I might throw that in there
So what I'm going to make is the mozzarella sticks. I'm going to use this two cans of crescent rolls. And then I'm going to use, since there's 16 of them, I'm going to use eight cheese sticks. And I'm going to cut them in half. And so what we're going to do is unroll these crescent rolls like on the pan. And then put the cheese stick, the half of the cheese stick, in the crescent rolls. And then I've got some, a mixture of like garlic salt mixed with butter, melted butter. And you just drizzle it over that. And then we will cook it at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. And it will be super easy. The kids loved it last time. Okay, the chili smells amazing and it's so creamy and yummy and I went ahead and chopped up some cilantro which smells heavenly also I love the smell of cilantro so I've got some cilantro to sprinkle on there I've also got cheese to put on the chili and uh, if anybody wants sour cream or whatever um, got that and then I, if they don't want that got the most amazing chips I've ever purchased. I buy these at Sam's these, uh, on the border chips. Okay, so as you can see, I buy three humongous bags and we go through them embarrassingly super fast. But I've got this for dinner and the mozzarella sticks will be out in a few minutes and have a nice dinner and I've got salad if anybody wants that to go with it. Okay guys, so there we go. I'll put the cilantro on the chili and the mozzarella sticks. The little garlic bread things are done and they're super duper cheesy and easy. Those would be really good to dip in like pizza sauce or you could add pepperoni in them and make a little pizza bite. There they are. I'm just going to show you those because they're super cheesy with all the garlic butter on the bottom of the pan. Okay guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some soup ideas, some chili ideas. Um, tell me what your favorite kind of chili is or your favorite type of soup down below. I'd love to hear that. I love chili, like I said. I love chili with grilled cheese sandwich, but my hubby likes it with peanut butter sandwich. So we're all different, it's so funny. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching today. And don't forget to say hey down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you don't care to. It's free, completely free. It just lets you know every time I upload. And if you don't care, give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you here to join our little family on YouTube. And I love you guys. I'll see you next time. I appreciate every single one of you. And, oh yeah, don't forget to check out the playlist. I linked it down below. And I check, and don't forget to check out Cat's channel. I've also linked it down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.